Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Liquid Brain. So today I'm just gonna walk you through how to write a simple package in R part one because this is just my first attempt on trying to create a package and think of it more of like a story of a go through and part two, three, four, five hopefully would actually be finally creating a package um, that is actually useful to anyone. So first of all, is why why do I want to create a package? Uh, I, this idea come to me because uh, I have been doing a lot of repetitive tasks inside R. For example, importing a data, normalizing the data, um, uh, removing duplicates, and you know, uh, scaling it properly. Plot it as a heat map, uh, run a PCA plot, and then export all the result as a PNG. Those are the things that I do again and again and again and again. So I want to create a package with custom function that can do exactly what I want every time that I wanted to, so that I don't have to recode the same code all the time. So that comes to me as a package. So uh, the first thing that I go to is CRAN, because CRAN is kind of the golden standard of R programming and kind of like where every package is lies. It, but I believe it's the biggest depository of all the R packages. So this is where I went to, the CRAN project.org uh, official page. And I can see manual about introduction in R and maybe writing R extension so that I'll be able to run on. So, uh, very excitingly, I'll go and uh, read this HTML. So when I open it up, I realize that it's uh, it's a few thousand pages of things that I have to go through uh, just to understand basically how it works and a lot of things I kind of already go through. So unless like, I'm getting a PhD, maybe I'm not going to be able to finish this up uh, myself. So that's where I go to the second page, writing our extension, uh, which is again, just just to write an extension alone required to do a lot of background reading and understanding of a lot of different things inside this uh, architecture, programming, assembly, all this other stuff that I don't really have a lot of uh, expertise in. So yeah, at this point, I'm a little bit of uh, disappointed with the things that I find and how little I know about the whole situation. So that brings me to, um, you know, a, a few more results down onto my Google search. I actually find this um, creating our package tutorial, which is an article written by Fred Frederick Leach in 2009. Uh, it's actually a lot more, um, what is that called? Uh, detailed, a lot more, not detailed, a lot, a bit more condensed, compressed, and more straightforward to understand at 20 pages. Uh, but still, there's a lot of things that I don't need. For example, S3 package, sorry, S3 object and S4 object, linear regression and all that. It doesn't give me a way to, to go into what I do. So, um, yeah, they, they do have all the information that is needed for someone that is already an expert in this field to, to move in. Uh, but for myself, which is usually use R as a tool rather than developing for R, it's a bit too difficult for me to, to do. So again, that brings me more research onto, again, this website by um, codingclub.com. So writing our package in our studio. And yeah, it's adapted from studying club at um, github.io. Maybe you would have to uh, visit that as well. So, and again, uh, first of all, I see Ubuntu, so I'm a little bit confused. Should I actually install uh, Linux to, to do that? And I realized that I don't, which is, which at this point I'm really happy because I realized that I can actually make a new project in, in R Studio and it should allow me to in some way use R Studio to create my package. So I'm um, I go through this website a bit too complicated. So, but you know I, I kind of have a concept that you know R Studio and GitHub should be able to come together to help me to create like a first package or so. So that brings again to this paper and I just browse to and I realize, oh yeah, it, it, it works. You know, I, R Studio would allow something like a, a, a template for you to create inside R Studio and you can create a package. And after this, I found another two, uh, two literature here that can allow you to uh, upload your package to, to GitHub and eventually, hopefully, publish it to CRAN. So I, I, I realized I might not actually need to publish my whole things to CRAN because this is more of an internal tool and it's unlikely that other people, even with this package, is going to benefit, benefit them a lot. So I was thinking that I, I just need to write this package for myself to use and maybe a few other people that work together with me. So this is where I approach things. 
Okay, so what I learned is that you can go to R Studio, just open up your R Studio, make sure you're on the latest version, latest version of R Studio as well as the R version. Go to File and create new projects. Okay, so once you click new project, it will like do a little bit of things, and you what you do is that you choose a new directory, existing directory, doesn't matter, choose a new directory. And this is where the magic happens. There's something called R package. So go R package and type whatever name that you want and create projects. That would be able to allow you to create a folder with all the basic thing that you need in uh, into creating your own package. So that would be the first step. So I'm gonna close it and show you the example. So this is so once you are once you create your project, it will look something like that. So what you need to do next is to open up R Studio again using the in this case I have named it, named my project R Studio package example. So open up the project folder, and that will bring you to to the project view. So once you finish create, uh, your screen should be exactly the same as my screen over here. So what you need to do is to go to the uh, description here and just, just write whatever that you need to. For example, what is the name of the package? Uh, pack, everything you can kind of ignore. Maybe just, uh, yeah, everything you can kind of ignore, they're not too important. Uh, actually, then you can go into a piece of description and the other one is here, okay? So where do you put your function? That is the important one, right? So in case that you don't already know, our package is nothing more but a collection of multiple functions that you can use. So where do you write your function is inside your package example folder, your project folder, and go into R, and that will have the, the script that you need to use. So this is a simple R script that you just put in. So you can open them up. They should have something similar to this. So uh, this is the original example where you have a function written this way. Okay, so I have changed a little bit of the print um, to, to make sure that I know that uh, this is the, the custom function that I created. And then what I do is I go back here to R and I just copy pasted this file a second time, something like this. So this then you have the two identical functions, right? With that, well, you don't want that. That would make things very confusing. So I renamed the second function and I also changed a little bit of the code on the, on the backside. Okay, so now essentially we have a package with two custom functions that you can use. Okay, so we have hello and hello2, which is in two R script file. Each of the script file has one function that's, that is uh, going to do something that you want. Okay, so once you've done that, you can uh, save the file and yep, save the file, save the file and close it. Okay, once you close everything, uh, usually I like to do that, do that. I believe you don't have to really do that. But once you make sure that you have saved all the file, close all the file, go to your package example, and go to your top right corner here, view, and then press install and restart. So this will compile your package uh, into a proper machine code, so you'll be able to, to use it. So uh, if you have everything done correctly, in this case, you should get something like a, a done package example, it means everything is properly run and properly um, built, basically. So, and then it will also automatically build in your package example. So, and then it's it's basically done. Now you can use my example, my two function, which is hello and hello too. So, can you see that what we have keyed in just now now actually uh, works? So. Um, the function is now working. So just, just to explore more, I can also go to my environment, go to global environment here, type out a package, package example, and see all the function that is included in this library. So I've essentially written a very simple uh, example of our package, and I'll be able to, to, to load this function like, like the normal, just library, package example, and this will load in the function that I need. Okay, so now is that how do I share this to, to other people? Um, that is also pretty simple. You just go to, you just upload the whole project file as it is into your GitHub. So just to give you an example, I believe I have uploaded this as well. Uh, this one, not this one. So let's go to my GitHub page. Hopefully I don't review anything. And yeah, so you go to package example here. 
they're already public. So you can see that all the folder and individual files here is exactly the same as what you see on RStudio. So as long as you upload the whole thing inside, what people can do is to navigate the, to this uh, exact GitHub uh, URL. I'll put it in the description down below so you can have a try. Go to code, click download zip. Okay, so you can see I already downloaded it just now. So this will give you a zip file. So what, uh, what happens after is to go to your RStudio, go to package, install. Okay, and then instead of installing from the repository, you go to zip file and you can choose the, the zip file that you did just now, which is here. Okay, so once you install, you can see that now you have installed a, a library called package example. And you can see from here, P-A-C-K, you can actually see that this is the package example and obviously it has nothing. And because I haven't added anything and I'm supposed to do this later on if I were to publish the cram. And that's basically I have for now. So that's all I have learned about packages. And um, what I attempt to do is to build a pipeline for data exploratory analysis. Just when you first get the data, what are the, all the analysts that you need to do and how to integrate them into a single package that I can run all the things that I want at the same time. So for now, thank you for watching and hopefully you have learned something from packages. And if you do have anything that you want me to include it eventually in this package, feel free to leave a comment down below or send us as email. We try to read everything we can. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Um, join me on the journey for the next video, hopefully. Bye.